Aha! Hello! My name is Musclelitica, as I'm sure you are aware, and this game, as I'm sure you are also aware, is Final Fantasy IX. And as uh, today is saying, it sure is dark. Let's light a candle. Or get a light or a torch or something. Get some illumination, my friend! Illuminante. And that was hardly worth it at all. Anyway, let's quickly jump into the configuration menu. Change the Corsa from Initial to Memory. The Active Time Battle Controller thingy me pop from Weight to Active. The Battle Speed to Fast. And the Field Message also to Fast. Window Color can stay. <coughs> Target menu on always, because that brings up an actual menu in the battle instead of just a finger courser. And when you're trying to attack or use an item, you could use an item on an enemy or on a friend. It just makes battle generally a bit more difficult. So we'll keep that as an always vibration on on, so like my controller to vibrate. So, <coughs> oh, sore throat. Because I'm just always used to it. So let's have a quick look around this room for any random items. Like that 47 gill there. And that potion there. I know there isn't that. That there is a poster. Because this is actually around my 19th try to do this introduction. And while the video has been fine, my commentary, I really did not like any one of them. And I've started it again over and over. Who's there? So, <clears throat> some of you may also be aware, I uh, streamed about three hours of this game on uh, Friday night, and about the same on a uh, Saturday night, the first of which was with Mage Masher. Of course, he uh, decided to spring on us as soon as he come, an hour later, I might add. But he's got an appointment down the pub, so he only stayed for an hour. But he was there and it was fun. Hope he, he, uh, we get the chance to do it again sometime. But uh, we were going to stream the game over however many weeks we'd need to do it to stream it. But me as he uh, started Alpine, I couldn't couldn't stand for that. I couldn't let him do it when I wasn't. No competitive. <laughs> he literally sure I liked. Yeah, uh, when we were streaming it, we said we, we weren't going to be competitive at all, we were just going to play the game, chat, have a laugh. Of course, it didn't end that way. <laughs> we pretty much competed in everything, from skipping to <laughs> mini cutscene, quick time action battle things. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And the first fight with what looks like a, a mutated form of blue dragon. Ah, that's steel. If you're watching mages, you know you can steal a potion, some kind of wrist guard, and a sword ironically named Mage Masher. So I've stole the potion. The steal rates on this game are abysmal, but we will be stealing a lot. First time I, it was alright, I liked the introduction and everything, but I would spent 20 solid minutes trying to steal the Mage Masher. Just would not steal it. So in the end I gave up and just fucked it. I mean, he'd killed three of my people, I hadn't bothered healing them. So I thought, it's going to be on the next deal, it's, it's going to be the next deal, it's going to be the next deal, and it never did it. So let's hope I can steal it from him. Cena is, uh Hey, I got it! Mage Masher, right there. And it only took, what, a minute? I wonder if I've still got my old, uh, The file of the failed one. I could upload that in fast forward with music. Something like that. Fast forward and stealing, stealing, fail, steal, fail, steal, fail. Either way, let's kill this, um odd mutant dragon thing. Hehe! 
my head. Go easy, you guys. He's a big guy, he is. I like his sword, it's a lot better than the little toothpicks that I've got. Masked man, use a potion to restore HP. <laughs> my entire party's wiped out, exhausted, and he's just like, huh, you fools, get in here. You looking a lot better. That's how I picture that laugh. Really hoarse and evil. Let's start the meeting already. Planning music there. Here's the plan. Tentalus, the infamous band of daring thieves. That's us, by the way. Is heading to the kingdom of Alexandria. Our mission to kidnap the heir to the throne, Princess Garnet. And see another little wimpy person with is that a colander on his head? I'll take it hit from here, so listen up. Our ship's about to dock at Alexandria. Well, it'd kind of be pointless to dock on the other side of the planet from Alexandria if you're going to try and steal the princess. And when it comes, we're going to put on our costumes and perform I Want to Be Your Canary, the most popular play in Alexandria. Very nice. Break a leg, Marcus, because you're playing the lead. Marcus is the big guy with the alvin ears and the blue tunic. The real kidnappers are going to be Blank, which is a redhead, with the... I'm not sure what he's wearing. <laughs> kind of Roman style pauldrons or something, I don't know. And you got Litica, which is me, the, the only guy with a tail. And Blank will distract the audience from backstage with these little buggers. Or globs. <laughs> like little bits between some kind of bug and a frog. And, and that's when we keep that princess got it. You bet. You're going to kidnap the most babylicious beauty in all of Alexandria, Princess Garnet. He's a lolita. He is. That's where he is. He's got to be. I am rabbiting on quite a bit. <laughs> and here is uh, what looks like a rather small black mage. Far rather traditional black mage in the Final Fantasy series. He's got the big hat, the mage clothes, and no face, just pure darkness. Two glowing yellow eyes. Look at that city. With a huge sword sticking out the middle of the castle. Is it a sword though, or is it a giant crystal? You decide. Isn't that music just epic? Conceived and produced by Hironobu Saki Gachi or Gaguchi, or I cannot pronounce that. Should have probably practiced first. I'll drink a nice Lucas Aid energy. Oh, poor Viddy. I've said his name. Oh, too bad. Are you all white? Says the promiscuous little girl. Hey, you dropped your ticket. Bye bye. What a kind little girl. And here we go, he can move around. He is the uh, black mage. He is, in fact, a white mage, yes, because he's got the fire look. He's also got very little health, so I'll equip that wrist to him, give him five evade and three magic evade. Nothing particularly amazing, but it's useful. Yes, yeah, so let's just run around Alexandria picking up random items from everywhere. 
Ooh, the pattern's making me dizzy. Making me dizzy, you know? Looks a bit like snake skin. <laughs> poor, poor little mage. And, and I don't mean that for the one we know as the masher. Another potion. Climb up the ladder. And steal a fan card. Anything else up here? Nope. And down we go. Fall out with some else. Whew, just a little longer. Darling, I'm home. Not done with realised yes yet. Come back later. <laughs> Every year it's always the same. You're spoiling you let them grandkids, I say. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Typical granddad. Typical grandfather, eh? Ooh. He ran into me then. I saw that. Right, kid, why you get out of my way? Another potion. Back when this game first came out, I liked the game for the game. It was a lot of fun playing it. It was different from the, the last few games because uh, all the characters could pretty much do whatever role you wanted them to do. But in this, each character has their own specific role. Like, you've got your mage, you've got your warrior, you've got your thief, so on and so forth. It didn't mean you had to think too hard on your teams. It's like you wouldn't really want to put a group of mages together with no real offensive support. But you could do that if you wanted to. And if you're over leveled massively. <laughs> Talk to Maggie. I gotta go back to work. That guy looks funny. He's got spiky hair, actually. Ashley, does that mean it's a bloke? Or a woman? Ash, I guess like Ash, Ash Ketchum. Ash from the film with the zombie things. And yeah. <laughs> Didn't go very well. The Deadites. If anybody can remember what that film is, it's on the tip of my tongue. I just cannot remember. It's driving, gonna drive me insane all night. No. 